Hey folks, welcome to Automotive News from AE Rishabh here. And if you guys are uh, watching my videos from the beginning, I started my channel with the automotive news segment, which turned out to be shit. And you, sorry, and you can see the videos. I'll link them somewhere here. So in today's episode of Automotive News, we are going to have a look at the Konixx Nurburgring crash, which turned out to be very fatal. Uh, then the Pokemon Go apps uh, effect on driving. Then the McLaren P1 road version, which is the McLaren P1 LM. Konix X11 is a hypercar with a 5-liter V8 engine that produces 1341 bhps, which is limited to only 750 examples. Experienced a very fatal crash in the Nurburgring circuit while they were trying to break the record of 6 minutes and 57 seconds to complete the ring, which was set by a Porsche 918 Spider back in 2013. Fortunately, the driver was able to walk away from the scene. Just after the crash, Koenigsegg tweeted, and I quote this, All okay except the car which will be rebuilt in time. And reports say that the cause of the failure was an ABS malfunction. Now moving on to the Pokemon Go app. It's driving people crazy and people are driving crazy because of the Pokemon Go app. <laughs> that doesn't sound funny, right? But let's see the case of a driver who got distracted from the Pokemon Go app and rammed into a stationary cop car in Baltimore on a Monday morning. Just after the crash, the cops around the car uh, ran towards the driver and asked him if everything is alright and the driver replied, You guys okay? Sure, hold on. You okay? What's the location? 2901 Eastern Avenue. Now moving on to the McLaren P1 LM, the road legal version of the P1. We all know that how good is P1, but its road version P1 LM is not that good. If we compare it to a 1997 F1 GTR, it's bad. Because the F1 GTR completed the Goodwood Hill Climb race in 47.98 seconds back in that days with the back with very old technology. But as compared to the road version of the P1, the P1 LM in present it completed the same track in 47.07 seconds which is not that good in spite of having a 983 bhp engine more weight but again i don't know why something may be wrong with mclaren anyways these were some news from our automotive industries thank you for watching automotive news i hope you liked the video and uh, will come back for sure anyways thanks for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel